here at an ancient site in ancient Africa, we have carvings of ancient African numerals. For those who don't know what the images that you're looking at represents place value, it represents the place value of both units and tens. So here we'll have, you just would trace it like that. And that would be one, two. And here we would have one, two, three, four. Would you all like to count for me? Yes. Okay, so what this, what's this curve symbol right here mean? Ten. Very good. That's a ten. Okay, so two tens would equal? Twenty. Twenty. Very good. So this would be twenty. Four. Well, let's, let's start by counting them one at a time. So this would be twenty. One. One. Very good. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, twenty-four. So let's add twenty-four to twenty-four and see what we have. So this would be pictorial addition. So we're going to add thirty. Oh, good job. Forty. Excellent. Forty-one. Forty-two. Forty-three. Forty-four. Forty-five. Forty-four. Very good. Excellent. And four plus four is eight. So then we would have. 48. Excellent. So 4 plus 4 is 8. And what is what would this be over here with the 10s? What would that be? 40. Right. But well, what's the equation? What are you putting together? 24 put together with 24. Very good. So if you were just to put the 10s together, what would that be putting together? 20 plus 20. Excellent. Okay, coming on to this side, I can kind of visualize what this one's going to be. So I'm going to quick count, and I'm going to see that this is... Four tens. So what would four tens be considered? Forty. Very good. So we're just going to go ahead and call that a forty. All right. And then I see four tens here. That will be eighty. Very good. So coming back using the same method we use here, four plus four equals eight. We know forty plus forty equals eighty. So now I see I still have a ten and some units. So what's eighty put together with ten? 90. Very good, because that would be nine tens, 90. Okay, great, and then we're gonna jump right in. How many units do we have? Can you quick count them? Quick counting means you count them in groups instead of counting them singular, singular, like one, two. So what group are you gonna count? You're gonna count groups of what? Four. Okay. So one, two, three, no, groups of three. So three on the top. Very good. Three on the bottom. I'll go with that one. And there are two extra. Wait a minute. I don't think you saw the threes. There's a three here too. See that? Yes. So that's three. And then there's another three. Very good. That means that it's nine. Very good. Why is it nine? Because it's three groups of three, and three times three is nine. Excellent. So the, the advantage of using African numerals is that they're pictorial and, and they, they're, they coincide with spoken language and also as very effective means in which to assess the understanding of learners and make sure that they have a good conceptual understanding of the underlying mathematics. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Let's see what we're do. Do ancient Africans only count up to 10? No. What do they count up to? Hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. Okay, very good. Do you do you know do you recognize the place value here? Mm. Mm. I think I remember them. I want to help you. What's the human mean? Oh, we're gonna get to that. So come in here for place value. This is the unit. We recognize these as tens. Uh, this this mark here is saying three units, okay? This is the tens, 10, 20, 30. What would the next column be? Hundreds. Very good. That would be the columns of hundreds. So this little... Swelling thingy. Yes. They kind of look like little curled up buns. Mm -hmm. And the now, next is thousands. Very good. And the thousands, the, the, the designer and the artisan took some creative liberty to curve the thousands. 
to look like this. It typically doesn't look like this. It typically looks more um, like that. But he took creative liberty to close, he or she took creative liberty to curve it because the grid line would not permit them to break uh, the grid line and go higher than that value. So these are thousands. And then what do we have after thousands? Millions. Really? Is that what we have? Ten thousands. Very Ten good. Thousands. So after, after thousands, we then move into 10,000. So these are 10,000. And these are fingers. This, is, this, is, this represents a finger. Uh, thousands is represented mm. by a lotus plant. Uh, I like lotus. They look beautiful. Awesome, awesome. Just like you, daughter. You and mommy. Okay, so we're going to come down. And we're going to do our... No. Wait a minute, daughter. Do you remember what, what plays value a lotus plant? You remember? Thousands. Thousands. Very good. What place value your fingers? Ten thousand. Why, how do you know the ten thousand? Because there's thousands and then there are ten thousand. How many fingers do you have? Three. You only have three fingers? What mm -hmm. happened to the other one? What happened to the rest of your fingers? You have ten fingers. <laughs> <laughs> ten, yeah, just ten, remember your ten, ten fingers. Ten. Just, Fingers just, on your hands. Just remember, you're excellent. That's a very nice one. Remember the ten fingers on your hands, and that'll help you remember ten thousand. Okay. Okay. And if that's ten thousand, then what are these little frogs? One hundred thousand. Excellent. 100, I think those are my favorite. I like frogs. Like those. Well, I think the human is going to be my favorite. Really? And what does the human represent? One million. one million. Very good. Excellent. The spray of hand represents one million. You all Is excellent. that a boy or a girl? I don't know. It's a good question. Do you all know what these three tick marks right here represent? <laughs> what? It's basically saying triple the place value. Oh, so, yeah. So what I want you all to do is read the value off for me. Three. Very good. What does this what does this image represent? Thousand. The person represents thousand. What is the person? One represent? million. Very good. So if you have three tick marks in front of it, how much does it represent? Three million. Excellent. Three million. Then we also have but what's that big circle in the middle? Where are the tens are? The big circle in the middle where the tens are? Here. You mean right here? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. That's a good question. That's a we're very gonna good have question. To, we're going to have to look what, into that. What, we'll, we'll look into it. What I, what I think it might be is an indication of the starting point by saying you start here at one. And then if you look at it, because the thing about ancient Africans is that they wanted to make sure that everything looked balanced and it had to be pleasing to the eye. It had to be aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And that means you have to take into account everything that is in your construction, which means if you're gonna have three like this, they had to see, well, would it look good spatially? Because we have three, 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 then three across, three across, three up. So it has to look good visually. And maybe the designers, when they were designing, looked at it and said, well, if we do three up here, what will we do with this space here? So, that, so there's an aesthetic component to doing metal netting and when you're doing craftsmanship and artistry. But that's a very good question. That's a very good question. We'll do more research. Um, and hopefully our, our ancestral memory will continue to reveal all things to us. So starting here at units, and this would represent three units. And then coming over here, you were saying that this was what again? You said it's three what? The person represents how many? 
One million. Okay, so you have three tick marks in front of it. So that means that it represents three, three million. million. Very good. And coming to the next place value, what place value does the, the, the frogs represent? 100,000. Very good. So if you have three frogs, that means you have? 300,000. Excellent. Do you all remember your fingers? How many, you, have three, you have three fingers? Oh, you were talking about three fingers on the screen. I got it. Okay, how many fingers do you have? Ten. Very good. Okay. So I have ten. Everybody has ten? That's awesome. So that means that the fingers represent 10,000. Okay, that's excellent. And then the lotus plant, what does that represent? 1,000. Excellent. And that's 2,000. The cute little swirly marks, what does that represent? 100. 100. And that represents 200. Excellent. And if you have three all together, what does that represent? 300. You all are brilliant. Okay. Okay, we're about to count some tens. Tell me how many tens am I tracing? How many tens? Ten. Very good. 20. You are a genius. 30. Excellent, excellent. So I'm going to add this one to that 30. And what's the answer? 30, 40. 30, 40. Wait a minute. That's not a 10. That's a unit. So let's put a unit with it. Can you count for me again? 10. 10. 10 20. Excellent. 30. And how many units? One. Very good. Excellent. One unit. Ever, you are brilliant. Thank you so much for helping us. You all did awesome with place value. You all are incredibly brilliant.